All right, what is going on, everyone? This is the Kid DC Wrestling back once again with another video here to bring you all your Tuesday, May 10th, 2022 edition of NXT 2.0. Now, before I get into this NXT 2.0 review, for those who did not see my posts in the community, the community post, of course, uh, I'm doing another Q&A soon. I have it, obviously, last time we did a Q&A, we were at 500. A lot has changed since 500 subscribers. Now we're at 1K. So I've decided to do another Q&A. So if you want, put your questions and all that good stuff in the comment section below for the Q&A. That would be much appreciated as well. If we get a lot this week, we'll probably do it this weekend or something like that. But let's not waste any time, man. Let's get to it. Uh, what I really loved about tonight's NXT 2.0 was that it was really heavily focused on the women here. We we kicked things off with a women's match. We ended it with a women's match. But to kick off the show, it was the NXT Women's Tag Team titles being defended as Toxic Attraction, Gigi Jolin, and JC Jane take on Wendy Goo and Roxanne Perez. And yeah, this was a solid opener. Uh, there's really nothing I can say about this. But as we saw there, uh, Perez was flying from the top rope because Rose shoved her off. Uh, Mandy Rose was by ringside, by the way, for all you Mandy sips out there. And Gigi Dolan was able to take advantage of that, and she was able to cover Perez for the win. And Gigi Dolan and JC Jane retained the titles. The titles still remain on Toxic Attraction. And they attack uh, Wendy Koo after the match, just going in on her and stuff, because Wendy's been doing some crazy stuff with them over the past few weeks. So, you know, pranking them and stuff. And yeah. Now, honestly, with the way things were going, as we saw later on in the night, it who knows, maybe Mandy uh, might take on uh, Indy Hartwell next, or probably going to be Wendy Koo also. But, um, yeah, this is a pretty good opener with, with the women here. So we got Roderick Strong, man, talking with Diamond Mine and everything. The Creed Brothers, they're going to be facing um, Viking Raiders again next week. But basically, they was like, look, Roddy, we want to win it the right way this time, the right way, uh, you know, we're not going to cheat. And basically, like, Roderick, you know what, man? I actually want to introduce you guys to someone. He is the newest member of Diamond Mine, Damon Kemp, who is uh, Bobby Stevenson. And for those who don't know what Bobby Stevenson is, he is the brother of Gable Stevenson, the, you know, the AA, the NCAA Wrestling World Champion, the, the newest edition of Monday Night Raw, the dude who was posing with Stephanie at WrestleMania, who had the interaction with Chad Gable. That's his brother, so he's officially part of Diamond Mine, and you know they're they're still talking about you know next week and all that. So yeah, so Joey Gacy comes out and he cuts a promo. Uh, Joey Gacy just talks about how he wants Braun Breaker to join the movement. He wants him to join side by side. Obviously, he doesn't have Harlan no more, so he needs another big man by his side. So might as well get Braun Breaker with him. But uh, yeah, Joey Gacy he cut a pretty good promo here. Uh, the crowd was eating into him, just saying what, calling him an a-hole, all that crazy stuff. But obviously, Joey Gacy, being the dastardly heel that he is, didn't let them get to him. And he continued on with his promo. And that was that. All right, so after that, man, we had the first match roundup of the NXT Women's Breakout Tournament. Salone Jacobs versus Fallon Henley. Who, by the way, man, this Salone Jacobs, she's like 19 years old. Like She's like, I think, what? They say she's like the youngest competitor in NXT, so that's that in and of itself, that's pretty crazy. But uh, nonetheless, man, Fallon Henley does get the win here. Uh, this was a kind of a math match, which it was expected. You know, Salon Jacobs was just starting, Fallon Henley is there. Um, but overall, man, it was a solid match. I mean, a math match between the two women, but I thought it was right that Fallon Henley got the win there. So after that, man, we got uh, some stuff in the parking lot. There, there's something always going on in the NXT parking lot. Um, obviously, we saw, you know, the Tony D'Angelo and them getting revenge attacking one of Santos' boys. So obviously, the feud between Tony D'Angelo and Santos Escobar is heating up, man. Like, it's it's heating up. All right, so next, we had a match between another woman's match between Amari Miller and the, well, I really want to say the debut because it's Kaylee Ray, but the new name of Alba Fry. And she makes quick work of Amari Miller. She beats her like pretty, pretty uh, short there. So can't really give you a big rating for this match. But obviously, hopefully they still do some good things with Fry, Kaylee Ray, whichever one you want to call her. Uh, she still should do some pretty good things here in this whole NXT 2.0 roster. 
All right, next we had Solo Sequoia come out, and he's like, "Look, man, I, I want I want a shot. You know, if, if I know Hay Carmelo Hayes wants one, but if he wants the one on one title shot with Cameron Grimes, I'm gonna be right there watching, and I'm gonna let the locker room, the whole world, know that I want next." So, uh, Cameron Grimes comes out. Um, fans are kind of booing Cameron Grimes here. Like people, I'm starting to see a lot of people kind of in the crowd trying to turn on Grimes, which is crazy. But uh, nonetheless, man, we see uh, Carmelo Hayes, Trick Williams comes out. Obviously, uh, Solo Sequoia and uh, Cameron Grimes make quick work of those two men. And they look at the um, Solo Sequoia, who's over with the NXT crowd, more over than Cameron Grimes, which is crazy. But hey, it's Solo Sequoia, so I'm not surprised And because the, the fans were chanting, you got next. Yeah, this is a pretty good segment here. I think after this, man, because Cameron, well, not Cameron, but Carmelo Hayes, I don't think you know he should win back the title. I think he needs to be moving on up probably to that main event NXT title scene. I think a feud between him and Braun would do great wonders. Uh, considering the fact that Joey Gacy, I mean, he's okay, but I mean, it is what it is. All right, man. So after all that, man, we had the uh, mixed tag team match player with Grayson Waller, Tiffany Stratton, and Soraya and Andre Chase. I actually like this mixed tag team match, man. I, I thought this was really good. Um, I'm telling you, man, like freaking... Uh, Andre Chase and um, Saray was over. It was good to see Saray back as well. Uh, they get the win here. So, you know, they was able to give Tiffany Stratton and Grayson Waller, I guess you could say, uh, a teachable moment. Um, but, yeah, this is a pretty good match here. And, of course, Chase U, everyone celebrating by ringside. A really good moment for them. All right, so after this, uh, like I said, we had the segment with Mandy and Indy. I already talked about that. We had, uh, once again, the NXT Women's Breakout Tournament first-round matchup, Nikki and Lyons and Ariana Grace. Yeah, this was um, the key alliance. I think it's going to be her and Roxanne in the finals. I know that's saying a lot because we're so early into the tournament. But I already looked when I saw that bracket. I was like, yeah, it, it's going to be in the key alliance, either the key alliance versus Lash Legend 2 or the key alliance versus um, Roxanne. One of those women is challenging Mandy. I, I just I, I feel it in my bones. I really do. In the main event, uh, we had Cora J and Natalia. This is a pretty big matchup here. Obviously, Cora J being Natalia's, you know, idol and all that good stuff. And this was also a pretty good match and a really good ending to what was, in my opinion, a pretty good episode of NXT 2.0. Once again, I've said it before and I've said it again. NXT 2.0, they never failed to disappoint. And tonight was just another example. But one of my one of the things I really liked what they did tonight, uh, kind of what they similar did last week. They really showcased their woman a lot here, their young talent. Uh, but really, the women really got a lot of the focus tonight. Um, so that's that's really dope, man. Really, really good stuff to hear. So, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed again my NXT 2.0 review tomorrow. I will be doing AEW Dynamite. I might be making a video Thursday and then Friday, SmackDown. Um, we'll, I, I will have to see what's going on this weekend. But like I said, if we can get the questions in, we can do the Q&A. So this has been the Kid DC Wrestling and so on. Yeah.